Now uh, that we've gotten a lot of our modeling of our skin out of the way, let's move into uh, some fine detail work and some little things that are going to help bring the character to life. Uh, I do want to get into some of the wrinkles on the face and maybe some extra little tight vein work um, just to sort of bring some things out. I definitely want to get some vein work around these ear holes or these canals, whatever those are. Some in the lips a little bit, like to get some details. So let's Let's mix up a color for that. And I want to kind of do a purple washed out or toned down color. So I'll mix this magenta here. And then we'll add, maybe tone it down with some black. And deepen that a bit. And maybe add a touch of some indigo blue to that. Will help us. Get a nice, cool looking color that we can define some features with. I think this will do a little bit of airbrushing, maybe a little bit of work with a brush too. We'll see. Uh, sometimes these tight little details that are sculpted in, you want to, they're tough to get with an airbrush. So we'll see, uh, see if we can get that to happen. Again, same steps as before, just sort of thin out your paint. Take a look at what you got. I do want to tone this a bit more. It's a bit too purple. I want to get some black in there. And maybe a bit of red. There we go. A little bit of alcohol here. Let's take a look. And let's try this out. Let's see what we've got here. Spray it on your paper towel. Now we'll go close into the face here. Now you gotta be real careful because we're gonna spray right into the crevices of the wrinkles just to give some color in there. We will go around the face and sort of work all these wrinkles out. Now if this is tough for you to do, you can do this with a very fine brush and the paint and go into the wrinkles. Um, Whatever is easiest to achieve that effect. Um, early on we could have done at the very beginning a kind of a wash, but I didn't want to wash out every little detail on this guy. Um, sometimes that looks a little too like too much, so uh, I like to be real subtle with this stuff. So I'm gonna also go deep inside around the eyes, and again, I'm not gonna worry about getting paint on the eyes because, like I said, we can wash those off later with alcohol, real carefully, and take any paint that gets on the eyes, any overspray, and get rid of it. On a little guy like this, a little sculpture, sometimes you need to accentuate some of these features um, to get them to pop out and, and uh, to get them to look right. On a larger scale sculpture, uh, life size, you may not have to do that if, um, especially on something human, uh, very human, may not have, you know, purple color in the wrinkles or stuff like that. So you may uh, take a more subtle approach. But on this little guy, being an alien and creature and whatnot, we can kind of get away with this fantasy element to the skin. Um, so I'm gonna go in and also kind of, just to give some more color to the lip, and I'm not gonna try and hit every little detailed crack in there, but just to give more color and a little bit of the lip line. You know, it's really going to make that lip pop out. Now for the top lip, I'll just do a, a quick haze like that and just get a little color in there. I have a real thing where I like the lips to be kind of blue, purpley tone on aliens and stuff. I really like that a lot. And again, just go around and hit little details that you think should... Uh, come out a little more and accentuate your character. 
you know, it helps bring the face to life a little bit. We can go into also maybe some of these little weird holes with this color. And let's also hit these wrinkles a little bit on the side of the ear. And maybe even throw in some really tight, fine veining. Just coming off this ear like it's somehow a sensitive kind of organ or something on this guy. Some kind of really weird. And you know, you might even carry a, a little purple wrinkle like this up into the head off of that. You know, just something that makes it look interesting and, you know, gives another look of, uh, you know, something cool on the side of the head there. Because we don't have any kind of really uh, interesting ears or anything going on. So we want, we want to make those features, even though they're simple, look interesting somehow. So again, just I'm going to be real random and almost like broken blood vessel veins or something kind of a, that kind of look you know like what's on your grandma's leg and then we'll move down maybe into the neck here Sort of bring out a few of these neckline wrinkles, not too overdone. We don't want to get carried away. I mean, you can always tone back or adjust something if you don't like it or, or if it gets too overdone, but uh, we, you know, I always try to avoid overdoing something if I can. Just pop some of these nasty little broken guys in there, these little creepy, creepy critter veins. Yeah, the ones you see on Grandpa's nose. These are fun. Or my nose, ew. All right, so it gives us a nice, you know, this, this one might feel a little overdone, so I might, you know, tone it back later. I'll show you how to do that. But we could bring it up a little higher, too, which is interesting. And maybe some of them kind of connect to one another. Kind of like broken capillaries, I guess. And let's pop just a little more color into this chin, but not with veining, just little, little bits here. Can even go into the side of the jawline a little. Looking pretty good now. All right, that's going to probably do it for that fine detail veining. Oh, one more little thing here. Let's get this. All right. Cool. Let's move on.